if nothing else, art is good for having something that nobody understands out here. You know, something that doesn't sell you something or get you something or get something from you. Uh, it has no purpose. And I think that's really good for people to have a break. You know, they just get something, they go, oh, what's this? Well, I started the work thinking about the subways and kind of doing research in the making of the subway, uh, telling the story in New York City, telling the story about class and money and what's going on above ground, and tell that story below ground. Took a combination of early New York stories, the making of the subway, urban myths. I would look at things like telephones and I'd do my versions of a public telephone. I have basically five character types. Blue collar workers with construction hats and t-shirts and white collar workers with business ties and radicals have no clothes and little pointed hats. My favorite rich people, you know, with top hats and cops. I kept putting more and more work in. I put probably five times what they paid me to put in. Finally my wife stopped me and said, that's enough. I think the statues are cool. It's provocative. I think it's interesting. There's one down here with a gentleman sitting on the bench. That was a little different. It was a change of pace. It was kind of cool as well. I was like, okay, well, he's actually taking up a seat. My favorite is the one over there where the, the alligator is eating the little guy. I like the one with the alligator. Of course, the ones at the police officers, us. I really follow what the public likes. You know, I know what they like by which areas get polished up. You can see the bronzes that people touch it a lot. It's sort of a democratic record of what people really like. And there's the money bag head guy on the stairs that obviously everybody going to work gives it a rub, hoping they'll hit the numbers or, you know, make some money or whatever. Well, in general, I do public work and I think of, of the things that we don't talk about amongst, between strangers, you know, money, sex, class, race, all the things that are kind of taboo. And so I thought, well, it's a good idea to bring this into the work and, and have the art be a way for strangers to talk to each other. It's the most exciting project, the most exciting situation I've ever had public work in because it, of the numbers of people in that. And it's this cross-section of New York, you know, everybody comes through the subway.